everyone welcome back to my channel this is going to be a different clip from the original video that i have i was having technical difficulties with the audio but i figured out the rest but i had to add this part because i will be having all the products i use and everything where I purchased it in the description box below. Also, I wanted to add on if there's anything that you would like me to talk about or try on regarding skincare, beauty, you know, just um, comment down below, you know, I'll, I'll look at that. And also I wanna say thank you so much for subscribing and viewing my videos, whoever it is. I'm very thankful for all the support and I will try to continue posting at least once a week a new video, but I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. See, today we're gonna talk about how to properly cleanse sensitive skin. We're gonna talk about the do's and don'ts. So to start off with, let's start with the don'ts. So when you have sensitive skin, you should not use makeup wipe removers these are so bad for you they can cause irritation and inflammation of the skin as you're wiping it down so i want to give you an example an example my skin will be an example and usually they feel really soft right but you have to rub against your own skin and some people don't know how to be gentle with their skin so when you're rubbing you can be rubbing harshly and you can actually tear your skin especially if you have sensitive skin it can cause your skin to irritate more than it already is and that's when it gets inflamed and all the redness starts coming out so i'll just give you an example i'll just do it on my forehead so you can kind of see because you're trying to rub. See, you can already see a little bit of redness as I'm rubbing it off. And yeah, see what I mean? And I promise you, this doesn't even take your makeup off. Honestly, like this takes probably like 60% of your makeup off. I wanted to test out the garnet the Garnier, my, I don't know if, I, if I'm saying this right, but the micellar cleansing water. Um, I use this whole thing and I tested it out and I absolutely love it. It's honestly as good as the Tatcha Camille cleansing oil because they're oils. So oils on sensitive skin is the best way to remove your makeup because it doesn't irritate your skin. It removes your makeup. It leaves your skin feeling cleansed and it doesn't feel irritated like after you use the makeup wipes your skin feels irritated itchy this is the complete opposite if you and i had to purchase another one because i really loved it that's how much i really i couldn't find the bigger bottle so that's why i have the smaller one but um this is what i'm talking about i highly recommend this for prone sensitive skin um, this video uh, isn't for all skin types, it's just for sensitive skin. I just want to clarify that because it might not resonate with you and I don't want you to be offended if, you know, you use makeup wipes. If, you know, whatever works for you, go ahead. You know, this is more particularly for sensitive skin. So just like I showed you an example of how my skin got irritated as soon as I started wiping down the makeup, I wanted to show you an example of the difference when you use the cleansing water. So I already put some on here. So just so I can show you, I am using the cleansing water. And I'm just gonna gently just press like that. And this, I just want to show you. I took my makeup off and it didn't do the same thing as this. I'm pressing and it, see? How this side got irritated and this side did not. Just an example of how beneficial cleansing your skin with cleansing water. The topic we'll be talking about is how to properly exfoliate your skin. 
do not use products that contain rocky type textures just because they have these little granite rocks or uh, they say they properly exfoliate your skin. I don't know if you can see the little rocks and you can feel it little rock textures on your on your skin. Do not use this form of exfoliating. Uh, it's called physically exfoliating your face because you're physically rubbing into your skin these rocks rock like textures don't do that it's just gonna cause the same reaction as wiping your face down it's just not going to help your skin at all the best way to exfoliate your skin is using a chemical substance then physically so can what i'm talking about chemicals is something that's not going to cause any tear in your skin um like the rock textures will cause a tear in your skin and even though you might feel like you're exfoliating your skin you're just causing damage to your skin it's not going to help so i i'm yet to find something that's affordable for exfoliate for exfoliation so I'm still using my Tatcha. It's the best thing you could use to exfoliate your face. You know, you just wet your hands and then you just it properly exfoliate your skin without causing the damages that these other products cause. Another thing is that you should not do when you want to cleanse your face or you know have a spa moment is adding any drastic temperature change to your face, especially if you have rosacea or sensitive skin you don't want to put anything that's hot on your face or cold because it can cause a reaction so like for example steamers you know face steamers if you put that on your face because you feel like it's opening your pores and it's gonna it's the best way to cleanse the pores or you know take away your blackheads whiteheads it's not going to honestly pores the size of your pores is genetic nothing's gonna change the size and those cold rollers you see on amazon you know those are not gonna help shrink your pores because a lot of people have these theories of adding ice or adding anything that's a cooling sensation to shrink your pores nothing's going to shrink your pores unless it's a cream that's designed to shrink your pores and I think that's the only way or adding some kind of pore minimizer just to minimize the appearance. I feel like anything that you add on your face is just going to minimize the appearance of your pores. Nothing can enlarge in or open up your pores or close your pores. It's marketing. They're trying to sell their product to you. It's not going to do anything to your skin. It's just for them to sell. Another way you can cleanse your face is using a facial cleansing brush. Um, not all facial cleansing brushes are good for sensitive skin. You have to really read what kind of bristles they have. Um, I got the ones that are for sensitive skin and I actually purchased this on Amazon. It's called the Misiki facial cleansing brush. I have it right here with me right now. I just wanna show you that. I tested this out on my skin first before putting it out there because I don't want to show you guys something and it doesn't work for you or it did something to you. I'm going to test it on myself first before, you know, showing you because I'm only going to be posting things that will help anyone with sensitive skin. Um, all my videos are to help, not to, you know, get sponsored or anything. It will be nice to get sponsored, but it's mostly to be helpful and you know test out any products you would like me to test out and see it will be helpful for you or it'll be worth purchasing for you <laughs>